Hello everybody, it's Nick here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to hack NES games. Now, I'm not talking about hacking as in, like, you know, hack taking an existing game and replacing its graphics and music and everything. I'm talking about, like, infinite health and infinite lives. Now you might be like, well, we got Game Genie. And, uh, yeah, but here's the thing. These the codes I'm going to show you are called PAR codes, Pro Action Replay, which apparently they released one for the NES, but I've never seen it. But, um... So what's the difference between Game Genie and Pro Action Replay? Well, it's hard to explain, but I'm going to try to explain as as good as possible. Now, the Game Genie modifies ROM addresses, and uh, the you know the ROM is pretty much the game's code and everything. But the uh, um, but Pro Action Replay modifies the RAM addresses, which is the code that's actually running in the game. So it works similarly. But, uh, it is different. But Pro Action Replay codes, I believe, anyway, are way easier to make. So, um, because I think with Game Genie, you know, that you need to know some, like, you know, programming stuff. So, so, what's the point of knowing Pro Action Replay codes or needing to, well, besides that, why do, would you want to know Pro Action Replay codes or how to make them if you got Game Genie? Well, one, there's a lot of games which do not have, um, Famicom games especially, that don't have codes yet or game chain codes so um, that's one reason but also if you try to run let's say there was a game that's released in like Japan and the US or Europe now you try to put a game chain code use that with the European version or the Japanese version and it's meant for the USA version it won't work so uh, that's one of the reason why Pro Action Replay codes can help. So this tutorial I'm going to cover like um, action games and how to get like infinite health in them and stuff like that. So, um, there's two ways to do this now. My preferred emulator of choice is FCEUX 2.2.2, and the game I'm going to be running here is Super Turrican. Um, this is a game I want to get one of these days. I mean, it's awesome. Too bad they didn't release it in the U.S. I think Kemco was supposed to make it, in the, or release it in the U.S., but whatever. Anyways, so, um, there's two ways you can look for cheats. You can use the RAM search, which is this thing here, and uh, this is actually identical to SNES 9X's cheat search. I wonder if it's the same people that made it, maybe, but I don't know. Anyways, but the way people normally do it is um, through the cheats list here. And it looks confusing, but it's actually way easier than you think it is. And I'll show you guys how this works. So I'm going to turn off the music because the emulator's running like crap when I have like this all the software running. So anyways... Start game. It's that all the software um, OBS uses a lot of um, memory on my computer. So, so let's say I want infinite hit points. Um, now we'll get to that. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that in a minute. But first, I'm gonna show you guys how to like invincibility. Some games don't have invincibility buffers, and you just have your you know your lives or I mean your your health, and that's it. So this one, I'm gonna show you guys how to get um, invincibility. Now, here's the thing: every game is coded differently, of course. So what, you know, you might be like, okay, so, so in other words, there's different ways of programming how like invincibility and health works, but I'm just going to show you guys like the conventional ways that they do this stuff. So anyways, for Turrican, this one uses the pretty conventional way of a normal way of invincibility. So what happens is when you get hit, of course, you know, you have, a, there's a certain amount of time before it goes off, you know, or a certain amount of time before you're no longer invincible. So... Now, if you think if you're not invincible, what would the number be? What would the value be if, you know, if you're not invincible? Well, it would probably be zero because, you know, you're not invincible. But you would think, you know, a number over zero, I'd be invincible. And that's true. And spoiler alert, it's address 0045, but whatever. So, but I'm going to show you guys how it works, though. So, I'm going to let these enemies intentionally hit me. But I'm, before I do, you want to reset and change the known value to zero. Just click there. Um, if you know the value, you can change it. Um, now, NES, and actually most game consoles, at least back then, ran on through a, what was called a, you know, hex, hexadecimal. So if you need help, if you don't understand some of the numbers, like you see FF, which is 255, you can, you can go to calculator on your computer, and you can go to like a scientific calculator, and you could just enter in enter in the number as um, let's say 128 decimal, then you can click on hex and then okay well that's eight zero, 
Anyways, so I'm going to reset to zero, get hit by the enemy. Now I'm going to click greater than. Now if you know the exact number that it's going to be greater than, then you could type it in. But usually you don't, so just click greater than. And All right, so I'm going to quickly pause or unpause and then pause. Not the game itself, but the emulator. So now I'm going to click less than. And as you can see, this number down here, 0045, is going to go down. You want to focus on this number on the right here, this value. That's what they're called. They're not called numbers, and they're called values. Anyways, you're going to see it's going to go down. And when it goes to 0, I'm not going to be invincible anymore. See? Now if I set it to 1, or I can just double click here and that asterisk will appear. Now look, I can run through everything and I'm not getting hit. I must be playing as Chuck Norris or something. <laughs> AV Chan and his beat a game button. I had one of those and I threw it out because I didn't need it. Anyways, okay, so let's check out infinite health codes. Um, now I gotta find a game that I wanna try for that. Hmm. I'm just trying to think. What game? I was trying Shatterhand earlier. I guess I'll do that one. Um, now I'm gonna try the Japanese version. Now sometimes RAM codes, these pro action replay codes, will work on a on other versions of the game like the European or USA versions and sometimes they don't but they're more likely to work with those versions than a game genie code so anyways so I'm just gonna start here yeah 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 okay so let's count how many units of life I have down here I have eight now some games and, and some other games might be programmed so it's 16 which is one zero or ten and hex but um anyways so, again, I'm going to look at this, and I, it looks like I have 8 units of health, so I'm going to type in 8. Reset, known value. Now I'm going to get hit, and now I have 7 units of life. So is there a number over here that says 7? Yes, there is. Over here, 5C5, five five, and I already have it here. Now, if you want to... Now, here's the thing. There's some codes where they're called, like, false codes or, like, ghost codes or whatever, where... You enter an M, but they don't seem to do anything. It, I mean, it looks like it works, but it doesn't really work. So what you have to do, or a way to test whether it's a fake code or not, is to uh, add it to the list, and then add it under value put zero. Now, if it's zero, I'll either A, and, it, and if it's the real code, I'll either A, I'll die immediately, or I get hit once and I'll die. So let's see what happens. Okay, I died, so, in fact, look at this. Wow, this game's unfair. You don't even get a chance. You just die. This game sucks. Why would you want to play a game where you don't even get to do anything? You just die. Oh, ha ha. They, they released an unfinished game. Ah. No, no, no. Okay, so, obviously that is the real code, so I'm going to just get hit by enemies and stuff. Okay, so, as you can see, I got hit. I couldn't find an invincibility code for this game, though, because the way it's programmed, so that, but that's what I mean, you know, some of the games, they're just programmed really weird. I'm assuming it, oh, I thought maybe you had to push the block, I can't, I do not know how to get over this thing. And you know what? I don't have the patience to find out. Oh, you're supposed to shoot it? Well, how do you, how are you supposed to know that? I'm not even joking. I mean, I've heard this game's got a lot of good reviews, but anyways. So, in the next video, if I do another one, if people want me to, I will uh, um, show you guys, like, for example, if you want, like, the, the best score in Mahjong, or if you want, like, infinite points in baseball. And technically, that's not doable, but I can still show you guys how to do it. It's hard to explain, because you're like, well, if, if you can't do it, then why are you saying that you'll show us how to do it? It's very hard to explain, and I'll show you guys, but I'll show you guys that if that's what you want. But uh, next video, just let me know what you want, you know, like first place in a racing game, do you want, you know, um, you know, there are there's some games where you can just automatically complete a level. Um, I only know how to do that for puzzle games, though, not, you know. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your time, and I will see you guys later.
Peace out. God bless and have a great day.